And thanks for staying with us. Governor Evers is frustrated, saying today he'd be doing more to stop the coronavirus if the Supreme Court hadn't blocked his stay-at-home order. But today he did announce something new that the state is doing. As Charlotte Deleste tells us, it's focused on a group that has seen some of the most cases lately. Charlotte? Susan and Eric, that something else is a lot of money to support COVID testing at all of Wisconsin's private colleges and universities. 8.3 million to be exact. The governor says our unprecedented increase in positive cases is prevalent in 18 to 24 year olds in our campus communities. And since no campus exists in a bubble, the key to protecting everyone in all communities is testing. However, he says everyone, not just the students, needs to do their part. And there's one group he'd like to see cooperate and set an example. We cannot afford to have uh, 1,265 people die of that disease here in Wisconsin, and the number's obviously exponentially higher uh, at the national level. But we have to have our leaders uh, set, set, the, uh, set the stage. I, I see lots of, lots of fundraisers done, uh, pictures of fundraisers done by our Republican colleagues who are not a single person in the picture of maybe 40 or 50 wearing a mask. Uh, they're hugging each other. They're having a hell of a good time. No mask. Now, I'm not against their fundraising. Uh, we all do that. But at the end of the day, uh, when our leaders in the state uh, don't want to cooperate on this issue, it makes it difficult. Andrea Palm, secretary designee for the Department of Health, said today most respiratory viruses reach peak between late fall and early spring. And if COVID follows that, we must act now to stop the spread. And that means making good choices.